Welcome to the digital age where data isn't just power. It's the air we breathe, the language we speak and the future we are building. Every second, the internet explodes with new content. Did you know that over 4.4 million blog posts are published every day? And Google processes over 40,000 search queries every second. That's a dizzling amount of information. In this ever-expanding universe of data, how do we make sense of what matters? How do we filter out the noise and find the signals? Enter the world of GPT-4. Not just any AI, but a vision-equipped super brain that's changing the way we interact with the vast ocean of web data. Imagine a tool so advanced. It doesn't just read text, but sees and understand images, charts, and even the layout of web pages just like a human. But here's the kicker. It does this at a speed and scale that's simply out of our league. Today, we will see one of those features that is GPT-4 Vision. And before we move on, just a quick info for you guys. If you are one of the aspiring Python enthusiasts or AI and ML enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers in AI and ML by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. By enrolling in this certification program, you will gain expertise in skills like generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, explainable AI, machine learning algorithm, supervised and unsupervised learning, model training, and optimizations, and there's much more on the list. With hands-on experience and tools, you will catch the eye of top recruiters. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now. A year of experience is preferred to enroll in these courses. You can find the course link in the description box and pin comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So OpenAI recently released a multi-model version of GPT-4 called GPT-4 Vision. That is GPT-4V. So GPT-4V can understand images as input and answer questions based on it. 80% of the world's data is unstructured and scattered across formats like websites, PDFs or images that are hard to access and analyze. We believe that this new era of multimodal models will have a big impact on the web scraping and document processing space because it's now possible to understand unstructured data without having to rely on complex OCR technologies or tooling. So let's explore potential application of GPT-4V for, for web scraping. So first, what we'll do is we'll open any website or we'll just open the Simply Learn website only and we'll save this as a HTML doc. HTML only. We have replaced it. So this is the HTML doc. We will drag and drop it to ChatGPT and now ask the ChatGPT to web scrape the data. So we'll ask the chat GPT that use the above HTML file and scrape the data from it. So first we'll see the scraped data in text format only. And after that, we will uh, ask the chat GPT to scrape the data into JSON format or if there are any CSS files or styling or metadata, so we'll ask the chat GPT to do so. So you could see that chat GPT has responded that the HTML file you uploaded from the Simply Learn website, it provides a variety of courses and the platform names too. So it has just given us the summary. So now we'll ask chat GPT to extract the data into JSON format. about html file in json format so you could see that it's analyzing so you could see that it has extracted the data into json format and here's a brief overview of the extracted data so this is how you could web script the data from the websites using gpt4 vision so now what we'll do we will go to all courses click on explore the category so here you could see all the courses of the data science and business analytics category 
so what we'll do we'll ask the chat gpt what we'll do is we'll ask the chat gpt to extract the titles of all the courses so for that first we'll save the page as html doc and we'll upload to chat gpt and going back to the page just inspect so you could see that heading 3 has the title of this course so we'll provide this as a reference to the chat gpt so it can understand and extract all the other titles from this page so we'll get back to chat gpt and ask him that extract the course title from the attached web page or html doc or html and you can use python and beautiful soup and export the results to a csv file and the title tag h3 like this and now we will provide it just copy the element paste it to chat gpt so extract all the course titles attached web page okay let's see but does a chat gpt respond to this so you would see that it has created a csv file so we'll click this and open the file and it has extracted all the titles which are present in h3 into a csv file but we asked only for the course titles and it has done so for all the h3 ones and now we'll ask the chat gpt to extract the metadata into json format from the attached html file So you could see that ChatGPT has provided the metadata into JSON format. And similarly, we can ask it for other scripts. If this web page has any scripts, provide that to in JSON format. So you could see that I extracted the scripts from the HTML file and presented them in JSON format. So here's a preview of the extracted scripts. So this is the script that contains the JavaScript code embedded within the web page. And due to the length of the scripts, only the first part is shown here. If you need the full JSON file, those are the scripts, please let me know. Yeah, I need the full script. So you could see that it has provided us the JSON file. So we can just download it and open it with any ID. So this is the JSON format for the whole web page. Now moving back, we'll move back to the website. And now we'll ask ChatGPT to extract the data from this image that is or like make someone understand what does this image show so first we'll do is we'll save the page into html doc and pack this image element and ask the chat gpt first we'll upload the html file and ask the chat gpt uh, explain the 
graph present in the attached web page and describe it so we'll save and submit it and let's see what does it respond if it doesn't respond we'll just get back to the web page and inspect the element for it and provide the div class or the particular element so it could understand for which diagram asking chat GPT to describe it see so html file you provided title postgraduate in data science caltech does not display its content in a format that allows me to interact with or interpret any embedded graphs so we provide you with the element present in html file read that and explain the graph or diagram to us so let's see so you could see that it has provided the information about that image that the html snippet you provided in appears to represent a style graphical element likely part of a larger graph or visual representation specifically it describes a div element rotated by minus 53 degrees containing another div with a background color of a shade of pink so this is how the gpt4 version works and it also describes the images so with that we have come to the end of this session i hope you like this tutorial if you liked it please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe so till then stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here